Okay, what's up everyone? I am just messing around in the courtyard of Mario 64. But if you have working eyeballs, you'll notice that Mario's looking a bit different than he normally does. It looks a bit different because I've applied a mod and an HD texture pack to this game known as Render 96. I saw a few screenshots of this and I thought it looked really cool, so I thought I'd make a video showcasing it to you. And yeah, I haven't really played around in this mod, just kind of messed around in this outside area here, so I thought we'd view this mod together. And obviously Mario 3D All-Stars is coming out next week and I have a few videos planned for that, but for now, I can't wait for that game, so I just did this. Now, I'm gonna leave all the links for the creators of this mod in the description so you can check them out there. This is because a lot of people worked on it, so it's not just like one person. Like, this was a big project, this uh, HD texture pack. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the first world, bob -omb Battlefield. And already, from the very first world, you can see that this game looks fantastic. So basically, by the looks of it, they te retextured all the environments here, like these rocks and the grass. Same with the trees, but all the character models like Mario and these Goombas, it looks like they redid the models to match the artwork of this game. Which is crazy, that's a crazy amount of detail and love to put in this project. Now I'm just going to do a few of the missions in each level, I just want to show off all the worlds mainly, not um, every mission in each world, and I'm already failing. I'm on camera and I'm already failing. This way we can quickly get a glimpse of each of the worlds and what they did in each of the levels. And even the... Even the skyboxes are really well done, as you can see. Like, these mountains are all updated to match the more HD look of this game. Actually, let me see what this bomb guy looks like. He's looking good! Your crown is looking nice and shiny. That is very good. Okay, this guy... This guy is spinning very fast. Can you... Okay. Just do that. Just do that. You can't outrun a bomb. Outspin a bomb, apparently. Even the star models are redone, as you can see. They're a lot less pointed and more, uh... We're smooth. And that is a very cool pose in this graphic style. It is crazy. I am just gonna quickly get these eight red coins. Also, look at these rock textures. These look... It's like a literal texture of a rock, like from a photo or something. Okay, I, I keep trying to show the things and I can't climb up the slope and show at the same time. I swear, guys, I'm not this bad at Mario 64. There we go. Okay, yeah, look at these stone textures. They're literally photorealistic. Very nice. Props to the guys who made this mod. Oh! Jump right into that bubble. Again, these Goombas are very close to the original box art art style. It's just a really nice touch and a really nice way to go about making this game. Like, look at those coins. Aren't they nice? I mean, it's gonna disappear. It's gonna disappear. And this... I gotta play the game rather than showing the game, alright? This game was meant to be played and not meant to be shown. This Chain Chomp does look a bit funky, I will say. It's like two spheres kind of placed on each other and that was a lot closer than I planned it to be oh I mean he ate me he, this chomp ate no nope, he ate me again yeah anyways he, he looks a bit odd but still this I can't complain these guys did so much work to make this mod and it is crazy this mod makes me kind of wish Nintendo went a bit more all out in their 3d Mario all-stars game but yeah I'll talk about that game next week for now let's just appreciate how good this mod actually is actually the model for Koopa looks pretty nice as well the models are a lot more smooth and a lot less blocky than the original version, so that is very much appreciated. Modding team, thank you. Look at this bomb, he's just enjoying the nice view, man. I'm right here with you. What a view this game is, eh? Oh, there's a coin on the mountain. <laughs> are the cannons? Oh, I don't- can I even get that coin yet? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done the red coin mission. The red ball bomb's not in this level. Oh no, there he is. Open the cannon, mister. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay, I thought we were screwed for a sec, but we are good. And... Oh, I almost land right in another cannon. That would have been kind of funny, but... Let's just get our coin and get the star. Get it, and let's move on to the next world. Once again, the picture looks nice and HD. The picture is all cleaned up and it looks like a watercolor painting, which is very nice. And here's Thwomp's Fortress, a very similar aesthetic to bob -omb Battlefield, but it's got its own unique flavor to it as well. As you can see, a lot of great stone texturing here, and a lot of brick texturing is very nicely done. Same with this button. I swear, was it this dynamic before? This looks very nice. I mean, I know it's just a button, but hey, it's the little things, man. And I'm just gonna get the star really quick. It's an easy one, but we can move on to another star in just a sec. You know, maybe I'll do two stars per world, just to give the worlds enough time, because uh, some of these stars I just do very quickly, so we don't really get to see the worlds if it's just one star. And again, these are nice looking uh, piranha flowers, piranha plants, whatever they're called. 
As you can see, a lot less blocky than the N64 one. You can sleep in peace. I'll just move on. I need to... I need to defeat this guy. These guys do look good, eh? Look at this. Look at their mouth. It's so, uh, 3D. Very nice. Very nice looking. Here, here. This is who I want to fight. Big Thwomp. Yeah, I, their mouths. See, they made their mouth more uh, 3D in this game. Before, it was a 2D texture on the original game. But now they actually gave it some uh, depth. Dude, there's nothing that's not nice in this mod. This is a fantastic mod. It's actually crazy how much work they did. I, I, I'm i blown away. That's why I wanted to make a whole video on this. And there we go. We defeat the flaw. Okay, just get the star and let's move on to the next world. There's toads. Toads are looking very nice too. Uh, let me get a view of these guys. Uh, Mario, you're in the way. Yeah, very good looking. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm hitting on every character. I'm talking about the polygons. Nothing else. Don't get... Don't get any weird ideas there, alright? I'm just... I'm just calling polygons good looking. Don't look further into it than you need to. Anyways, we're getting into snowman land. Or cool, cool mountain, I should say. Slip sliding away. Oh, I want to see these slides. I want to see these HD slides. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, but... There was not much to update with the black void taking up most of the screen. And just like that, we have our first star in Cool Cool Mountain. The penguin. Oh, this penguin looks a lot better. It, no, I, I don't know where your kid is, sir. Um, maybe I'll get to him in the next mission, but it's looking good. A lot more smoother, a lot less blocky. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the second star is the penguin. So you're in luck, Mr. Penguin Guy. I'm going to get your baby. Now, were these trees in 2D in the original game? I think they might have modeled it for this mod, which is awesome. They made like the snow even on it. That is very, very well done. Again, they put so many little details in this texture pack. It's actually crazy. And this is just by a group of fans. It's not even Nintendo. Nintendo just ported it straight up to the Switch. These guys went all out. Anyways, we got more sliding on this level. I think I could just skip. Oh, boop. Nope. We need a penguin buddy. Come back here. Oh, he's stuck on a slide. Hang on. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just fall off here, just so I could skip all that slide and then go directly here. And let's just fall down to this baby's mama. Uh, did I call him sir before? Uh, it's your mom, right? Yes, yes. Sorry, ma'am. Anyways, here's your kid. Give me your star. Now, the next world, I am really curious how this is gonna look, because I love this level. Because this is the Jolly Roger Bay level. This level already looks great in the original game, so... I want to see what it looks like now. Let's go on the ship, and this is some this is some fast moving water, but it is some good looking water. Oh, and look at the fog effect. It actually is nice. This level's awesome. Okay, a lot of a lot of tapping of the A button in this level. Let's see this ship. Oh yeah. I mean the seal really sticks out without the fog effect on it. But still, it looks great. This his eyes are wide open, and it's this guy looks pretty freaky in this version. Seal, I I can never get these seals out. This is the one thing that's really annoying. Do you, do you gotta follow me, a seal? D seal, eel. Well, I've been calling them seals, really. Guys, okay, just surface, get some air, and get this damn eel out of your damn ship. Okay, good. You're out. See, I never know what brings them out. I think you just gotta go close and then leave. But, I don't know. Ask Nintendo. It's this one? Oh, nope, it's not this one. Which, uh, what's the damn order again? Okay, it's that one. I think it's a it's a spiral order. Nope, it's not a spiral. How do I forget this? How, this is ridiculous. Is it a spiral this way? It has to be a spiral. Yeah, okay. So I was just going the wrong way in the spiral. Sue me. Alright. Get that. And then you. Okay, and that's uh, another star. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to do the, the secret treasure in the cave or whatever that is. I want to see how this cave's looking. What? What is this guy? What is that green thing? That's new. What is this green marker? Whoa, 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 eel, 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 eel. Jeez. What is that? Is this... Is there actually new stuff in this mod? Hang on. I mean... Nothing happened. Okay, don't know what that key is, but... It was... It was well textured and modeled. Okay, this... These are the chests. I'm gonna get this one first try. This order, I know by heart. It's another spiral. Like I was saying, I know these chests in order. First time, first time's the charm. I will just get them because the order is obviously this. Landing right on top of the star. Okay, so now we've seen all the stars in the um, the main floor here, or the main lobby. So I'm just gonna see if we have enough for Bowser. 
And we do. We have just enough, I think. Oh, I got one green. I got one green key. See the top left? I don't know what the green key is, but I got one of them. Damn, this looks so clean. Look at the background. It's like you're in some weird cave. Damn, this looks cool. This looks really neat. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Mario, remember to look, not to move. Don't even need to stand on those platforms. And let's just get going. Don't even need to go near the fire. I love this stage. It's such a nice platforming challenge. It is very, very well designed. Honestly, all the Bowser levels in this game are very fun. I will say that. It's less about, well, these these stages are like pure platforming. There's no uh, exploration like the normal stages, so it's really fun. <laughs> Except when you long jump right into the electric guys. And then we could just long jump back. Your long jump goes so far in this game. It's really nice. Get this coin just hiding here. The texture is a bit stretched here on the edges. I don't know what that's about, but it's... It's a small thing. I, I'm, every complaint about this mod is a nitpick. Take that with a grain of salt. I'm not complaining about this in the slightest, because this mod is crazy good. Just things I notice. <laughs> Bowser, your eyes are, are very red. Oh, jeez. Oh, Bowser, you're looking a bit funky. Even weirder than that chain shop. Not gonna lie, not the hugest fan of this model of Bowser they use, but hey. It's better than the blocky one on the N64. Easy swing, easy swing, just slow and steady. Boom. But anyways, we got the key, so we are moving on to the basement. Let's look at some of those levels. Actually, before we go there, let's check out this slide. I mean, okay, it doesn't look all that different. The graphics are pretty simple, and it is another black void, but you know what? I want to see what this looks like. I want to see everything in this game. Oh, we can get the winged cap. Let's, uh, let's just do that. These, again, these, look at the clouds. They look so nice. The clouds are looking so clean in this game. The wing cap is kind of hard to control, but you just have to be slow and steady. And there you go. One round. Easy peasy. Now, I guess I'll do a few missions in, uh, Boo's. Big Boo's Haunt, whatever it's called. Okay, so, oh, where the, the Boo's aren't even here. Oh, is this what the key's for? I didn't even know about this. Um, looks like it, actually. What's in here? Whoa! <laughs> Nothing yet. I guess I got to get all the keys. Okay. And okay, I was going to do Big Boo's Haunt, but it's not here. Actually, that's pretty awesome. They even added new content as well as redoing the models and the textures in this game. The amount of work went into this one mod is insane. Okay, so let's just jump into this very good looking watercolor painting for Lethal Lava Land. This lava is looking a lot better. This texture is very clean, very smooth. This eyeball is looking spherical as ever. Just get, oh, get your blue coin and accidentally teleport to the island. Oh, what? There's little, there's little Mario World dino guys. Oh, that's cool. Where's, where are you going? You're going off the edge. Okay. I know, that's a nice touch. Yeah, I'm pretty, these guys are from Mario World. Can I jump on them? Nope. You go right through them and hit the lava. Hey, hey, he's coming through the stage. Whatever, let's just, let's go to the bully. Let's go to the bully. Look, there's more of them. They're all over the place. Jeez. Actually, might as well just do these red coins. Easiest red coin mission in the entire Mario series. And then there's your star. Actually, a really easy way to get this star way over there. That's behind the cage. You just do this. This is a, a speed running trick that's pretty easy to do. You just go, oh, no. You, you hit the lava, you hit the lava. Very key, very important. And then you just go, well, you just ram into that as well. You just go on this thing here. And then all you need to do is do a triple jump and you're higher than this cage. And then you can just fly right over it and ground pound right into the star. Easy. Oh, that looks cool. That is a nice ripple effect, I must say. Swimming Beast in the Cavern, mission number one. Oh, I wanna see, yeah, what does the Loch Ness Monster guy look like? I'm going the completely wrong way for the Loch Ness Monster guy. Oh, look. Why is there a bat floating upside down there? Oh. That guy killed himself. There's a bat floating upside down. What is this level? Let me let me get to the lock this monster. Let me get. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not much I can do in that situation. Plessy, buddy, please give me a ride on your head, sir, wherever you are. Oh, he looks <laughs> he looks kind of funny. I like his texture. So like, it's a lot more rougher. He looks a lot less plastic like he did in the original. Okay, thank you. Drop me off. Easy. A swimming beast in the cavern. Don't call Plessy a beast, okay? He's not a beast. He's my friend. Okay, what's with his 
with what's what's with his bat? What are you doing there? Do you know what? Just don't ask questions and keep uh, keep her moving because this is another easy star in Mario 64. Let her just do a few wall jumps and then and then you get hit by the boulder and then you get the star. Simple. That looks. Oh, it, look! There's like flowers. It's like a pink flower that's just being rippled. Is that the original? Is that what the original game was like? <laughs> that's so funny. I don't know. It's like an HD flower rippling. Okay, now let's just go into shifting sand land, jump into the whooshy ripple wall here, and let's just get into this. Damn, this sand look is looking very rough. I will say that, Mr. Shy Guy. Uh, whoa! Do you see how fast he just charged at me? I wanted to jump on you to use you as a spinner, but fine. I guess you'd rather die. I mean, you'd die regardless, but look at this guy. He looks all, uh, all smooth. Interesting, interesting look you got going, but a nice one. Um, what was the mission? What am I doing? Talons of a big bird. We just go here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Land on the, land on the pillar. Okay. There's another. Look at these shy guys. Even they look a lot. <laughs> what? He just plinked off the side and took off. I was gonna compliment your model, but fine. I'll just get the star instead. Psh. All right, and we just fly right into the star. Okay, now let me jump on the shy guy without you charging at me. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Let's do the four pillars. Yeah, because that fights the boss. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the four pillars. Uh, jump on you. Very nice. Get to this pillar. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, 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 okay. Um. I don't know why I don't got the wing cap, but I definitely, definitely should have used the wing cap. Okay. 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 We're, we're living. We're living here. Let's just fly on over to the second one. Okay. Two down. This skybox looks really nice too. Like, if I could showcase it, like, that's really HD, these pyramids. I guess they blurred it. It makes sense to blur it because it's so far in the background. It would look weird if it was like just as high quality as the foreground textures. This is, I want to see this boss guy. What does he look like? I mean, honestly, he looks pretty similar. Just a lot better textures. I guess he was pretty square to begin with. Oh, punches eye, punches. Okay. There's one hand down and whoa, that surprised me, but it's no match for Mario's fists. All right. Um, so we have 18 stars. How many do we need to fight the next Bowser level? I need 11 more stars. <laughs> I need 11 more stars, okay. <laughs> well, let's start with uh, Big Boo's Haunt really quick. Yeah, these Boo's definitely look a lot smoother. Definitely look a lot smoother. Now, we're all, actually, were all these trees um 2D objects in the original? I forget, because they're all 3D in this game. Yeah, these boos definitely look a lot smoother than the last time. All right, so we're hunting ghosts here. As you can see, we got this beautiful background. Damn, this looks cool. Damn, this was supposed to be a forest the whole time? I didn't even know what the original one looked like. Anyways, let's hunt some boos. This is, oh, look at the floor. The floor looks so good. And the doors, damn. This looks sick. Oh, the piano. Piano, piano, buddy. Oh, there you go. There he is. All right, so where are all these boos at? I, it says on a ghost hunt. I can't find any ghost to hunt. There we go. I haven't gone in this room yet. Can you come closer? I, I don't want. I don't want to hit you on this thin, thin thing. But I had to. Uh, where are the boos at? Not in here. I gotta kill five of these boos. Five of these. Okay, there's. That's three. I'm missing two. Missing two. I swear, there was two in the the other room. I don't know where they went. The game's ripping me off here, bud. Okay, kill these damn chairs. Oh, you can't kill the chairs. Okay. Oh, the, yeah. Whoa, they just sprung out there. I was waiting. I was like, there's two boos in that picture. Huh. I don't know what, what was up there, but just punch these boos. And let me fight the king boo. Hello, I have. I need to speak with your, your team of boos. They kind of suck, and they didn't come out, so I'll just kick you. Now this is the merry-go-round one. Okay. Okay, just get down here. Very convenient. There's water down here. But now, there's a carousel of booze. And these paintings look very nice, even though they're breathing fire. But, yeah, there these booze are. And a bit, another, oh, it's like the, it's literally the same mission. Number two, eh? Just kick you three times once again. And give me your star. All right, so I went ahead and got 30 stars. And now we have enough to fight Bowser yet again. So let's just open this, because we've done all the basement levels. Except for Dire Dire Docks, so let's just do that. 
Damn, oh, these sharks look awesome. Look at this guy. Oh, was he a hammerhead in the original? I don't even remember. Oh, that guy looks so cool. That guy looks awesome. What the stream, stream, get me out of here. Okay, I'll stop admiring sharks and just board Bowser's sub already. That's a nice picture. That's a much nicer picture of Bowser than before. If only his uh, model looked like that. I mean, the submarine model looks clean as ever. They didn't update the model in this case, which... That's because it's part of the uh, environment, right? But it... Well, just, oh, I was so close. I was so close. You can do that easily. So just stand on the fin and... There. There we go. Simple as that. Let's get our star. Okay, and now Dire Dire Docks is pushed back enough so we can jump right into Bowser's world. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. It does look a lot like Lethal Lava Land, same background and everything. But hey, it's it's awesome. So, oh, <laughs> what a precisely timed jump. Same with that one. Are you seeing what I'm doing right here? I always thought this was a weird coin. You gotta do the elevator and then get it and then just retread your steps. Some unusual design, but hey. Another star down, Bowser to go. And then there we go, let's just jump in this spiral thing. I always love the look of this, I don't know why, it was such a weird look. And then you just teleport to this lava stage with Bowser in it. Bowser looking still as creepy as ever, but this time with a fiery background. Give me your tail, give me your tail Bowser. Stop spinning, stop spinning. And just like before, a nice and slow spin, yes. Easy, okay. Whatever. Okay, can I do the, the damn key trick? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Yes. Oh, they fixed it. They fixed it in the mod. Hey, that's another improvement. That's what I like to see. Okay, and with the second Bowser done, the basement and the main floor cleared, I'm going to end it off here. This was just showing off all the levels and really how great this mod really is. So let me know if you want me to finish this game in like a part two or something. But if not, I got a 3D Mario All-Stars video planned for next week, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you guys um, later. Take it easy. Uh, links for all the creators in the description. Check them out, because they're very awesome for making anything Mario 64 related, to be honest. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.